you don't have to have uh, a ton of brushes. It, you can do a lot with just a good round. So if you want to really start out small, there's no reason you can't either get yourself just a small set uh, from your local craft store or and then just a couple of good brushes and one would be a good round which is uh this one is a, a purdy or not purdy I'm, that's a paintbrush for your house um perla i'm sorry escoda perla and this is a synthetic uh tip but it, it really holds the tip very nicely which you'll find um, that's pretty important once you start painting. Also, I like to keep my eye open for things that all of us can afford as opposed to, um, some of these brushes can get very expensive. Uh, this one is uh, something I just got uh, this past week. It's a Princeton, uh, it's the Neptune series. And... There again, I think I hit a bargain at Jerry's and I got myself a script and I got the number eight round. And this is what I'm seeing when you hold that tip up and you can see how pointed that is. That just gives you such control and you can get such a, a nice little tight line um, from something like that. And you can take that brush in and use it in all forms. And, and this type of, when you do get a new brush, it's important for you to, to just kind of play with it and to see what can I do with this brush. Don't be afraid to, um, you don't want to intentionally smash it, but eventually this tip will probably wear down. I have some of my father's old rounds and I must have already pulled them out. Yeah. Um, these actually are uh, good sables. Uh, he was painting back in the late 40s after the war. Uh, this is also another one of his brushes. Um, he had really, really nice materials that uh, he passed on to me when I was in my early 20s. And this brush is, I, you know, I, I can tell from the way it is. I can tell that he used it a lot and and with a lot of gusto but it's a good brush and if you take care of it you can still come back in there um and you you can do brush strokes like this to you know create grass or something like that but don't leave your brush in that condition don't leave it all splayed uh, when you're drying it um, necessarily. It depends. I do have scrubby brushes that I just let them go crazy and um, you'll hear a lot of artists will say yeah I, I the beat up brushes are the ones are my favorites. So don't throw those brushes away either because you think oh that's no good. You can use it for something and in fact when it gets to that point you'll probably use it even more because you're not thinking, oh, I spent millions for this brush and you'll, you'll be fine. Um, I store my brushes upright. When I'm working with them, I usually will have a, a tray. Some of you might recognize these as the major plastic that they stack chicken in and things at the grocery store. Well, I'm a famous for saving <laughs> these things because they come in so handy. They, they're a good length for uh, brushes. And um, I just put either a paper towel or a rag down there. So once I, I start dumping them in water and things, I, I tend to, like I said, I pat them out on that, that um, uh, sponge. I reshape them. If I, I think, okay, you're done for the day, I reshape them and I lay them down because for me, <clears throat> I don't want that water seeping down into the ferrule any further. So that is, this is my habit. Um, and I guess I didn't really show you too much about the, the round brush there. I was showing you the, the flat. Now this is, is your um, workhorse. If all you wanna do is buy one paintbrush, and um, like I, I said, now this is a, the Perla, 
um, Escado Perla. This is a number eight and it would um, run you about $20, I think. Now, when I bought this one, um, that one is, was over $30, but I, I thought I'm gonna, you know, get back into this. I want to take it serious. I knew it was, um, money well invested to, to go with that brush. Um, but if that gives you a little sticker shock, don't let it stop you because things like, uh, this Princeton Neptune, and it's got a nice big belly on it is, is what they, they call that, that um, it carries a lot of water and it can carry a lot of color. So you, you can get into your painting and continue to paint without running out. This one is also around, but you, you can see the difference in the points, I think. Um, you can get surprised sometimes you go, Oh, I didn't realize I, I could, uh, carry such a, a fine line on that. But, um, some of these, they will, after a while, uh, you'll wear out there's cause there's not a lot of hairs there and it's not a big deal. Um, you usually will just find something else to, to create that line with. Um, because for the most part, a lot of times you're just using your brush to come in there and just cover that whole area. 